Self-assembly, what is it? Self-assembly is a spontaneous organisation of disordered particles into self-assembled structures. There are four main components which allow self-assembly to occur. Structured particles, which often determine the final structure of the system. The environment, which is the surrounding or container which the self-assembly occurs in. The driving force, which can be thought of as the antagonist that triggers the assembly. And the binding force, which holds the particles together in their ordered structure. In this video, we have used a tub of water as our environment and the stirring of the water as our driving force. Here, the structured particles used are polystyrene balls. When we stir the water, the balls come in contact with each other and seem to stick to one another. They then travel in groups until eventually they all assemble into an ordered layer. This is often referred to as the Cheerios effect, as it can commonly be seen with breakfast cereal on the surface of milk. In this demonstration, we can see close packing of spheres occurring. This is when the particles create a hexagonal pattern as to pack in a way to maximise their interactions and create the most stable structure. This Cheerios effect can also be seen with other structured particles such as long sticks. As the water is stirred, the sticks begin to travel as rafts, lined up as if they are stuck together. The different particle shape compared to the balls clearly affects the final self-assembled structure. The particles line up on their long edge as there is a large surface area where they interact. While these particles seem to be attracted to each other, the binding force bringing these sticks and the polystyrene balls together is actually capillary interactions. The surface tension of the water forms a meniscus which creates a downward curve for the hydrophobic polystyrene balls and an upward curve with the hydrophilic wooden sticks. These interactions between the water and the particles push the particles into their self-assembled structure and the capillary interactions hold the particles in their assembly. While this is an example of self-assembly on the macro scale, it can also occur on the nano scale. That's at a size of around one billionth of a metre. Here we've used magnetic forces to represent a very common nanostructure and have created magnetised particles to represent amphiphilic molecules. These are molecules which have a water-loving hydrophilic tail and an oil-loving hydrophobic head. On the nanoscale, these amphiphilic molecules spontaneously create spherical structures called micelles, as the tails are attracted to water and the heads are repelled by it. This principle is how soaps work, as micelles form around oil and dirt, allowing them to be washed away with water. Here the particles have a metal screw in the ball and so are attracted to the magnet around the centre ball. This mimics the self-assembly of a micelle, where the centre ball represents oil in the surrounding environment of water. The hydrophobic head is repelled by water and attracted to the oil, while the hydrophilic tails are attracted to the aqueous water solution. On the nanoscale, the binding force is the hydrophilic and hydrophobic interactions. However, in this demonstration, the binding force is the magnetic force. These micelles are used in many applications, including soaps and even in drug delivery systems. As self-assembly is one of the practical ways of creating nanostructures, there is certainly much more incredible nanotechnology to be developed through this process.